Here's something everyone should know about medical bills. Never pay a penny until you have checked your insurance's explanation of benefits. That document tells you what the contracted amount should be, how much your insurance is going to pay, and what you are responsible for. Unfortunately for most providers and medical facilities, the insurance claims department and the billing department are completely separate. In fact, in a lot of cases, they are totally separate companies. And whether they're the same company or not, those two systems usually don't talk to one another. Here's a great example. A provider that I have to work with all the time. Everything's usually great, but there's a set of dates from 2022 that we just can't seem to get right. Well, originally the insurance claims were filed incorrectly and they sent me a bill for $1,300. We finally got it filed correctly in August of 2023. In that same month, my insurance approved those claims and paid them out. Patient responsibility was zero. However, in October, they start sending me all sorts of these like separate little bills. It was about $400. It was for those same set of dates that we had already dealt with. I called, they said, oops, our bad. Sorry about that, we're gonna fix it. In December, I receive another bill from them for the same date. Now it's about $300. Then in February, I get the pay this right now or we're sending you to collections letter. Those are fun. So why did this happen? Well, the insurance department and the billing department are not the same group and their systems don't talk to one another. For each date that was wrong, the customer service rep actually had to go into their system, pull that up, go into the insurance claim system and manually transfer the information for each and every date. That's insane. If I had paid this bill at the $1,300, $400, or even $300 amount, I highly doubt they were going to send me my money back. If I hadn't paid it, they were ready to send me two collections. That would put a medical bill also on my credit report. So I'd get dinged on my credit report and be in collections for a bill that I didn't owe. Unfortunately, this happens all the time, especially with chronic illness patients or people with long-term medical issues. It's fairly common for us to not have the ability, time, or even energy to go back and forth with providers over bills. So we just write a check so that we can move on to the next thing. Medical care, providers, billing, it's all very overwhelming and very expensive as it is. There's no reason to just hand them more of your hard earned money for bills that you don't owe. So before you write a check or fill out a credit card number, always make sure you've checked your bill against your insurance's explanation of benefits.